Welcome to Tech Wizards Down In this video series, uh, how to answer some interview questions and answers for the ADF, uh, we are going to deep dive into a lot of scenarios. Uh, and uh, my goal is honestly is not to prepare you, it's just simply like, hey, this is a question, this is the answer. I want to go ahead and give you knowledge uh, and strengthen you as uh, your ADF uh, developer. Once you are uh, ready for that, uh, you will be able to answer uh, all those questions, what the people will ask you. Now, there are two types of interviews can happen and it depends upon the person who is going to interview you. If a person is uh, totally brand new to the Azure Data Factory, maybe uh, they are thinking to implement Azure Data Factory, their questions will be like googling and finding out uh, uh, top 20 questions for Azure Data Factory and if you answer those questions just uh, um, according to the definition and that matches with uh, what they have googled, uh, that's you're going to be fine. There could be another scenario where you met a person like me who been in an ETL for a long time and now he is hiring uh, this ADF engineer and he's going to ask you more uh, real time questions. Uh, so our goal should be prepare ourselves according to the both scenario. We are going to take the things from uh, uh, step one and then uh, we are going to uh, go to the our advanced level. Um, so the very first question anybody can ask you, hey, tell me what is the Azure Data Factory and why do you use it? Uh, so Azure Data Factory is the Azure's cloud ETL service for scale out serverless uh, data integration and data transformation. Um, it offers a code free UI for intuitive authoring and single pan of uh, glass monitoring and management. Uh, you can also lift and shift uh, existing SSIS packages to Azure and run them with fully compatibility in Azure Data Factory. SSIS uh, runtime offers a fully managed service uh, so you don't have to worry about infrastructure management. Uh, this is the definition I got from this Microsoft uh, document. Uh, and this is great. Uh, honestly, if I will be you, I will never able to remember this all English and explain in this way. So my uh, more, uh, I will not be concentrating too much on the wording, but I will be concentrating on the concept. Uh, and I will be concentrating on more like real time words uh, that I have learned in Azure Data Factory. So the other person would know that uh, this person is not just uh, bringing the definition from some book uh, he's uh, telling me the truth uh, or telling me the right uh, uh, items he face on a data factory daily basis uh. so first of all uh, let's understand data factory uh, line by line so it is uh, Azure's uh, cloud so it is Microsoft product uh, and it is used for ETL service uh. so if I will be you I will simply say that uh, it's a Microsoft uh, Azure cloud uh, ETL tool uh, that we use uh, to create uh, ETL uh, jobs now in the etl if you understand that uh, now uh, let me show you any um, etl tool is going to start with some uh, type of uh, source now you have this uh, source and uh, here what you are going to do uh, you are going to let's say let me make this small so here is uh, your source so sources and uh, then in the sources uh, what you have there now, uh, under the sources, uh, you can have uh, tell them in uh, uh, Azure Data Factory, you can have tons of different uh, data sources uh, that can be your Azure SQL DB, uh, that can be uh, your uh, on premises uh, SQL DB, uh, that can be Oracle on premises, uh, uh, that can be Microsoft Dynamics, uh, that can be your uh, Azure AWS uh, uh, S3 bucket. So you can read the data from so many different uh, sources. Um, once you read the data in the Azure factory in from different sources, uh, you need to transform that data. So you can tell them, hey, hey from here, once uh, the data is there, what you are going to do, you are going to take that data and then uh, go to the different uh, transformation. So here, what you are going to have, uh, you are going to have uh, a set of uh, transformations. Uh, now, I'm uh, going to go ahead and uh, uh, transformations here. Now in the transformations, uh, what you are going to tell them, uh, all those transformations, what you have learned from the tutorial, and uh, those are transformations are such as uh, uh, derived column, okay? So those are maybe parse uh, activity, maybe uh, it is uh, your aggregate, you know, uh, maybe it is your join. Uh, so you have lookup, uh, you know, there are tons of transformation you will use uh, in the um, data factory. So you will tell them, we extract the data from the sources, different sources in Azure Data Factory, and then use different transformations uh, in Azure Data Factory. And then finally, what we do, we write that data 
to the uh, some destinations. And Azure Data Factory is uh, not uh, only limited to one type of uh, destination. You you can uh, write uh, tons of uh, destinations. Uh, so in the destinations, uh, you can have uh, you know uh, maybe it is a SQL, you know Oracle. Uh, you have DB2, you know, uh, you have uh, flat files, uh, so CSV files, uh, uh, files, uh, JSON, you know. So all these are uh, different type of things that you are going to do in the data factory. So this is what you are going to explain to them. And ETL tool, that's what ADF is, where I can extract the data from multiple sources uh, and uh, run a apply my transformation and then finally write the data to the destination and where exactly it is it is on Azure portal so now I don't uh, one best thing uh, what you have to do you will tell them uh, you don't have to uh, do anything uh, uh, to start to working with ADF you don't need a server you just uh, log into the portal because it's a serverless uh, under the hood it's uh, using Microsoft computer so it is using Microsoft uh, uh, VMs or it is using spark cluster and all that but it, uh, you don't have to have a, uh, apply anything to, be, uh, to just start your um, ETL process so you will tell them it to give us opportunity to author so it give us opportunity to create the pipelines where I can use multiple activities and perform my ETL job then uh, it uh, gives me monitoring tool where I can monitor which pipeline had been running or failed and I can see those errors it also give me opportunity where I can create different type of integration runtimes those are different services that can be auto resolve integration runtime that can read the data from my one cloud source to and write to the another cloud destination or I can use self-hosted integration runtime in case I need to read the data from my own premises and write to the cloud uh, destinations uh, and vice versa and if I'm uh, too much interested uh, I can create a SSIS IR and uh, then I can take my SSIS packages uh, and deploy to the Azure Data Factory and run them uh, and also with the Azure Data Factory as it is the ETL tool on the cloud uh, it also give me git configuration to save my code and uh, I can use ARM templates uh, for the deployments and taken backups uh, uh, there are triggers uh, available in the Azure Data Factory and uh, those triggers uh, can be on the event or uh, schedule or uh, they can be tumbling uh, for the different time variations. Um, uh, and uh, that's pretty much I will say don't go too far with each of the tab and uh, as you have explained too much about it already. So take like a minute or two and that's it. Now put in a nutshell this is what I will uh, uh, just to go over one more time and uh, that might help you. Azure Data Factory is a Microsoft product that's on the cloud and that we use to read the data from different sources, apply our different transformations to clean our data or get the required formatted data and then finally write to the different destinations that can be on cloud or on premises. So I hope uh, this video is helpful and uh, uh, keep learning. And uh, at the time of interview, you might come up with the different words. It's all right. Uh, once you have a little bit more uh, vision of what you see on these places uh, or how things work, uh, you will be able to uh, actually prepare your answer better than me. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.